What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we came in for our second test of the Safari Zone ownership deal, you know, that with Bioba, and uh, he enabled us to switch up these the Safari Zones, which, you know, brings us some different kinds of Pokemon and all that stuff. One of those Pokemon happens to be Larvitar, which many of you guys already know is a pretty darn good Pokemon if you evolve it. As you guys can see, it has replaced our good old buddy Thrasher. Yes, we kind of want uh, we kind of want more firepower with this guy, a little bit more mobility and all that. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be trying to yeah, we're we're, we're just gonna <laughs> we're gonna be trying to uh, what was it? Uh, power this Pokemon up. Going into our next adventure right here, which will have to be in Route 44 near Mahogany Town. So let's go right ahead and go back to Mahogany Town because, you know, it's been missing us for quite some time. So, let's go ahead and fly. And would you look at that, back in Mahogany Town. So, after you defeat Team Rocket and everything, there are a few things that change. Like, the house that was, you know, keeping Team Rocket hidden, it's now a Pokemon. So if you talk to this lady, Whistle Whistle, are you bothered by that noise? And that's me. My false teeth uh, don't fit you right, and the gap makes the noise. Enough about that. Why don't you uh, Why don't you buy something? Let's go ahead and start buying some stuff, because we kind of do need stuff to, uh, to get us through these next few areas right here. One of them being, you know, Hyper Potion. And apparently we don't have any kind of repel, so let's go ahead and buy 20 of these little suckers. And... Hmm. How many revives do we have? Let me say. Revives, we got six. Okay, we'll be fine. I don't think we're gonna be like we're gonna be fainting or anything like that. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take an adventure to Route 44. And well, first things first, let's go right ahead and pop this out. And bam. Here we have the red the red apricorn. And what we're gonna be doing right now is actually not doing that. Let's go right ahead and switch out a Pokemon from our team. Actually, you know what? Blood Vault will do, especially when we're going up against this guy right here. Or this chick, I don't even know. Who. Is it a man or a girl? I don't know. I'm gonna win for sure. Okay, let's go right ahead and take on his psychic. His name is Phil. And he's coming with Natu, so let's go straight for his charge beam and load out for the win. And here comes Kadabra, so let's go right ahead and switch battle with uh, Dark Side right here. Obviously, we are way under leveled for this this whole uh, situation, so let's go with Nessie. And Side Beam does not work, so here comes a Surf Attack for the win. And just like that, yes, we get ourselves uh, some more points right here. Now, there's going to be a few items. Obviously, our mother has called us. She probably wants a cool item here and there. And you're going to be finding some fishermen along the way. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy. I fish until I can't know anymore. I also battle until I drop. That is my relationship with my Pokemon. Okay. Let's go. Fisherman Edgar wants to battle, and he's coming out with a Remoraid. So let's go ahead and speed this up. Thunder Punch for the win. And coming out with another Remoraid, let's go... Uh, let's go switch battle with Dark Sad right here. And let's go with Hercules. And there's the lock on, but here comes an aerial ace attack. And just like that, level 33. And level 18 Dark Sad. Yes. We win. Alrighty. Okay, so let's see. Who is next? Now we can surf towards the next area, but we kind of want to battle first. Let's see what we got. You look strong. Good trainers seek tough opponents instinctively. Get on the way. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take on another Ace Trainer and Sybil, and well, she does have a Marie. Let's go with the Charge Beam. Not so effective. Hot Score does that thing. So let's go ahead and go with Dark Side. And that Charge Attack will uh, not do anything, but let's go with the Rock Slide. With the Rock Slide. And just like that, Dark Side wins. And here comes a Blossom. So we're going to stay put with Dark Side for right now and just switch battle right here. Let's go with Cinder. And that Mega Drain is going to hit us. So here we go. Flame Wheel for the win. And Dark Side grows to level 19. What should it learn? Let's go ahead and take away uh, Leer. Since we really don't need uh, two defense, you know, two defensive uh, stuff. And as you can see, our mother is calling us yet again because, well, shoot. <laughs> and she found us another useful item, which is great. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. You are a huge help. 
We're gonna be getting the heck out of here. And well, we're gonna be taking on another trainer right here. And let's see what happens. I can tell you're a good trainer by looking at you. I'm good at Pokemon, and I can see that you are too. Okay, so here we go, taking on another Ace Trainer. His name is Alan. And he's gonna be coming out with his Charmeleon, so here we go. Flame or Charge Beam for the win again. And here comes a Magnemite, so let's go right ahead and go with Dark Side. Yes, we're gonna switch battling back and forth. Off screen, we're gonna be doing some off screen training for all our Pokemon because, well, the next battle is not a bit easy. And right now we're just not doing anything. There we go, finally. Okay, level 37. How do you like me now? And Dark Side, get some more points right there. Yes, I took some of your part right there. Okay. Let's GTFO and, well, let's see. There might be another train right here. I probably could find an item right here. No? Yes, you can't find an item right here. That's an elixir. And there's another item right here, too. We're finding ourselves an Ultra Ball. And if you talk to this person, I'll do anything to get my hands on a rare Pokemon. Anything to say. Alrighty, so here we go, taking on Pokemaniac Zack, and he's coming out with a Rhyhorn. And it looks like to me, we gotta switch out our Pokemon to Nessie. And well, check check for the win. And Dark Side goes level 20. And I guess we're doing pretty good right now. So let's see. How about we switch it out? Let's go straight for Dark Side. And see what he has to say. Okay. Heck. Hey, Poliwag, what are you going to do about it? Uh, beat you in a Pokemon battle. Okay, so here we go, taking on Fisherman Wilton. And, well, he's coming out with a Goldeen. That's definitely a Pokemon we do not want to mess with. So let's go with Token right here. And Extra Sensory does the trick. And just like that. And well, let's go ahead and continue with Token right here. And Supersonic with Confusion. Obviously, we're going to get hurt by Confusion. So there we go. And here comes a Sea King. Let's go with Dark Side so we can get more of that HP or experience points. And we're gonna go with Fluffle. And Fluffle is going with the Thunder Punch for the win. And just like that, we defeat Wilton. Now he is gonna be giving us his phone number because this guy right here will be giving us some interesting items later on in our adventure. One of them being a Waterstone. Much needed item if you guys have any Pokemon that we can evolve today. And of course, our mother's gonna be calling us yet again. We probably need. <laughs> We probably need to see what kind of items she gets. Now, here we are in another area where you're going to be finding yourself a Max Revive. If you use Headbutt into this area right here, you will be able to find yourself some pretty cool Pokemon, one of them being a bomb. Funny thing is that we already caught ourselves a bomb. And, well, here we found ourselves a Tangela. And, well, you know, win, lose, draw right here. Or win, lose. You know, take this Pokemon on. And, wow, everything has grown. And, let's go ahead and capture this Tangela. Let's see, go with a net ball, and just like that, we caught ourselves a Tangela, that's awesome. Now, in this generation, you can actually evolve Tangela if it, if it already has a, a specific move learned. And then you can level up and bam, evolve it. So here it is, Tangela, the Vine Pokemon. Grass that Pokemon. The vines on, its uh, on that cloak, its entire body, are always jiggling. They effectively unnerve its foes. Oh, okay. So, that is Tangela right there. And that is another Pokemon for our team right here. Okay, so let's get the heck out of here. Hopefully we don't get attacked by any other Pokemon. I don't know, we haven't used Repel yet. Look at that. Jinx stick. Got it. And look at that, we're gonna find ourselves a Poliwag. Okay, so we, I don't think we have it. Yeah, we haven't caught any Poliwag yet, so let's go with Nancy. Yes, we're filling up the Pokedex right now. And you kind of screwed yourself over, but Dark Side grows to level 21. That is good, okay, so we're getting closer and closer to level 30. Okay, so, the next step onto our adventure right here is battle this guy. Let's go ahead and battle this guy. Do you know anything about the legendary bird Pokemon? Yes, I do. I caught them all. Let's go! Take it on. Bird Keeper Vance. And he's coming on with a hoo hoo. I think I can do this. Rock Slide. Fusion hits us. There we go. And just like that, we win. And here comes a Pidgeotto. And let's go. Let's go. Okay, Dark Side's kicking some butt. Look at that. Okay. And of course, he's going to be giving us his phone number, too. Yep. Okay, so Darkseid, you are looking like a tank of a Pokemon. 
Yes, you are. Okay, so what's going to happen right here, guys, is I need to take a small breather. Quick break. I need to go to the restroom. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys, so here we are back. Nice and healed and ready to go. And we're going to be going into the ice path, as many of you guys already know. The name says it for itself. We're going to be facing, and I mean, we're going to be facing a lot of uh, ice type Pokemon. One of the ice type Pokemon that you should probably should look into is Swina, because if you evolve it, you can, if you evolve it into a pile of swine and have it learn, I would like to say Rock Slide, no, Ancient Power, it will be able to evolve into Mammoth Swine really early into this game. So I'll just keep that I'll just keep that in mind for many of you guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch it out to Cinder right here because yeah, I don't want I don't want uh, our good old buddy uh, Dark Side to be defeated that quickly right now. Now, as you guys already know, yes, this place right here is not that loaded with any Pokemon trainers. I think the biggest challenge for you is the puzzle itself. As you guys can see, bam, easy. I've been doing this for quite some time. Not so hard. And well, if you go right here, you're going to be finding this. Finding yourself the HMO7 Waterfall. And as many of you guys already know, Yes, you can only use Waterfall if, you know, you have the 8th badge. Now, once you pass this guy, he's going to look at you and he's going to be like, The item you just picked up over there, it was an HM, wasn't it? I am the one who dropped it, but I want you to keep it. You took the time to get it, right? It contains Waterfall. Have fun climbing Waterfalls. Me? I still need a new pair of shoes before I can enjoy the Waterfalls. Huh. Okay, so that really doesn't make any sense, but okay. Let's go right ahead. And see what we got. Okay. Obviously, we're going to get hit by quite a few Pokemon. And here we found ourselves a swine up. And we're well, going to try and catch this guy. So, since it's in a cave, bam, we caught ourselves swine up. Now, believe it or not, guys, swine up was going to be one of the Pokemon I was going to use in order to beat this whole game. But, kind of realized that, yeah, you know what? It's not really good at the, like, going into the other, uh, the other series. Or not the other series, but the other region. Now, I'm gonna try and use a max repel because, or actually a super repel because I do not want to get, yeah, I do not want to get attacked by any of these other, other Pokemon. We already caught the Pokemon we needed. So, as you guys can see, there are boulders lying around, and you do need a Pokemon that knows uh, strength in order to get by here. What needs to happen? Let's see. Let's see, do we have a Pokemon? Okay, we don't have a Pokemon with strength. That's kind of odd. Alright, let's go right ahead. And find that strength technique right here. Okay, so here it is, strength, 80 power. And we're going to be giving that... Shoot, huh. Well, that's a, that's a pickle right there. Let's see what Hercules can do. Let's see, I think it has horn attack. I think we could replace that. Uh, no, it has takedown. Okay, so takedown's a little bit more powerful, but... It does have recoil damage, so I'm going to be switching it out for strength instead because it's 80, it's 80 damage, but there's no recoil, which is actually, you know, it's actually needed right there. So here we have a Pokemon with strength, and let's go ahead and press that. Alrighty, so here we go, and we're going to be pressing, and as you guys can see, you're going to be positioning it. Now there's quite a few other boulders, you're going to, going to have to actually move this around. And well, let's see, right there. Let's go right here. And I think okay, so if you put it right there, you're in prime position to actually move it along. So let's go down here. And bam, there is one. Now we actually have to go towards the other side to press that other boulder. Now let's see. Hmm. These goddamn puzzles are always, you know, they're always so confusing. Okay, so let's see. Hmm. If I push it right over there, you see, guys, it's been a while since I've actually played this game. So let's see. Oh yeah. Okay, I think I know what I what I have to do. Okay, so we have to go towards the right side. Go up, go up, gives us some space, and there you go, that's two, and where else, where else should we go, right here, press that, and 
press that, and there's three. And, well, let's see. We still need one more. And that one's always the tricky one. But I think you can actually make it through this whole area if you just put three in. I could be wrong. So let's go right ahead. And go with a super repel right here. And let's go right ahead. And do, 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 do. Let's see. I'm trying to figure this one out. Hmm. Okay, so I think I know where we have to go. It's kind of a, it's kind of a tricky one. So we have to go right here. Go all the way down. Until... Yes. I think I know what you gotta do. Right here. Once you hit that spot. Go right here. Go down. At least one more. That's right. Now go back up one more. And there we go. Okay, so look at that, guys. We have put them in the right places. All we need to do now is drop down one of these holes, and you'll be able to get towards a little bit of a, a labyrinth around here. And let's go ahead and grab this. We found ourselves a max potion. And let's see. I think it's a. Uh, okay, so I think that's the only one that we can actually grab outside of what we need, where we need to go to. So let's see. What if we go right here, 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 and yeah, there we go. Okay, and we got ourselves a full heal. Never that bad. And well, let's get inside the stairs into this position. And well, there's another item right there that we can actually grab. And I don't think we have a Pokemon with Rock Slap or Rock Smash yet. So we're gonna have to go the long way and grab that item. I believe it's a Never Melt Ice. Could be wrong, so let's see what, what is this. Yes. So we found ourselves a Never Melt Ice. Usually a good item for, you know, any ice that moves. And here we are, I believe, in the last floor of this whole area. Now, let's see. I think there's an extra item right here somewhere. Yes, there is an item right there. I kind of just want to get it. So if you go right here, actually, that's the wrong spot. You're one spot over. And let's go right ahead. There we go. And go down here. Grab this. And here we found ourselves the TM72 Avalanche. And let's see. If I'm not mistaken, there probably might be... Nope, there's nothing else right here. So all we need to do now is go straight up to this part. And... Well, look at this. We are close. We are getting close. Now, we have to actually move this boulder right here at a certain spot in order for you to actually get that last item right there. And I kind of think that you have to push it like one... I think round two times right here. So, let's see... Actually, you know what? We have to push it up too. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back down, and we're gonna go back up because we need to. And let's go right ahead and speed this up a little. There we go. And let's see where we have to go to right here. Okay, so push that, and here we found ourselves an iron. All of that for an iron. Okay, so that is that, and let's go right ahead and go towards the very end of this place, and here we found ourselves a protein, and before we get to that kimono girl, there is a kimono girl right here, there is an item right there that we kind of want to get, and I wonder where we have to go to, let's see, huh, we're not going to talk to her just yet, uh, let's see, here. God dang it. Okay, so how about go right here, 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 and there we go. Found ourselves a PV up. And what we do need to do now is talk to this Kimono girl, which we're going to have to try and find a way to do so. Of course, our mother's going to call us again. Me! Oh my! Is that you, Draven? Fancy meeting you here. To tell the truth, my sandals are frozen on ice, and I am stuck here. In other words, my flip-flops are uh, quick frozen to the ground. <laughs> well, it's no laughing matter. Would you uh, come? Well, would you come around and push me with my back? Sure. So what we need to do now 
is we actually have to go straight to, uh, towards the Komodo girl's back, and, uh, well, let's see. Hmm. Here, 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 and up, and down. Okay, ready? And good. Okay, so... Okay, so, yes. I think we're in the back, okay. Tee -hee. Well, there's no pressure, man, yes. Let's go ahead and do that, and here we go. We shoved her, and she is good to go. You're really kind. Thank you so much. Okay. Alrighty, so that leaves us with us going down here, and there it is, guys. We finally achieved it. We're in Blackthorn City, and lady right here is like, wow, you came through a vice path? Must be a really hot shot trainer. Yes, I am. So we finally reached, we finally reached uh, Blackthorn City, and look at this guy. Yeah, it's just when you least expect it. This is the Cameron Taker, or the ca or Cameron Photographer Taker, and let's go ahead and take that. Go ahead and take that photo with him. And look at that. That's a nice team if I ever saw one. And good luck. Okay, so there it is. We're going to go straight toward our PC. It's pretty good stuff. So anywho, guys. Anywho. That is pretty much it for this episode. In the next one, we will be going into quite a few things in the Blackthorn City. I'll be back for another episode. I'll see you guys next time.